creating your video quiz on Audio Play is as easy as pasting a YouTube video link and adding the questions at the exact moment in the video when you want them to appear. You can use more than one video in the same quiz and cut out the parts you don't need. You can also choose different types of questions, display the question while the video is playing, and add informative notes. If you want to make it more exciting, you can set a limit on the number of lives. Let's go! First step, click on Create Activity, select Video Quiz, and sign up or login. Now you are in the Creator. To get started, paste the link of the first YouTube video you want to use for your video quiz. When you click Accept, three things will happen. The video will be added to your library, a timeline bar with the video will appear, and buttons to add questions and edit the video will show up. Let's break it down step by step. The library is where you manage the videos that will make up your video quiz. If your game only has one video, you won't need this feature. You can collapse it with this button if you want. But if you have more than one, you can add them with this button here and delete them with this other one. Each time you add a new video, it will automatically show up here in the timeline. Let's create our first question. First, click and hold the time slider and drag it to the exact second where you want to add the question. Right here. If you're not sure, you can play the video to find the exact point where you want it. Now, click the button with the plus icon or the add question button. Both do the same thing. At any point, you can click and hold the question marker and drag it to move it wherever you like. You can also use this box to specify the exact second where you want the question to appear. The time is based on the section of the video you are currently in. Type or paste your question and answers and you are done. You'll notice there are many options here and we'll go over them in a second. But if you have added a video and at least one valid question, your game is almost ready to be published. All you need to do is go to the Information tab, write the title and the description, and click the Publish button. Share it with your players by sending them the link or in any other way you prefer. They just need to click Start after identifying themselves if required. The video quiz offers plenty of settings to fit your needs. First, we'll go over how to set up the questions, then how to edit the video, and finally, the general options. First of all, both questions and answers can include text, images, or audio. You can add up to six of them or reduce it to two. You can mark more than one as correct, allow multiple selections, or require a written answer. By default, the question and possible answers appear when the video is paused at a specific point. If you enable Preview Question, it will appear a few seconds earlier, while the video is still playing. This is useful if there's something in the video that the players need to focus on to answer the question. For example, how many black kittens appear in this video? One, two, three, four, five. If you activate informative note instead of a question, the video will stop to offer some information. Players won't need to answer anything, so the answers disappear. You can also add an explanation to clarify why a player's answer was incorrect. We can remove parts of the video that we don't want in the quiz. For example, if I want to remove this entire part, 
I drag the time slider here, click the cut button, select this section and delete it. A message will warn you that if there are questions in this section, they'll be deleted too. Finally, you can drag and reorder the video sections you've created. In the General Options tab, you can set a maximum number of mistakes players can make before they lose the game. You can also activate Prevent Skipping to ensure that players have to watch the entire video to complete the quiz. Lastly, if you activate this option, the game will count uppercase letters and accents as mistakes in written answers. With any advanced academic or commercial plan, you can use advanced options such as setting a background image, setting the game as private, showing a message when players pass the activity, or not showing them the correct answers when they finish. If you have a commercial plan, you can also customize the game with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the Information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. You can also tag your activity to make it easier to classify. You can separate your tags with commas or pressing Enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the Publish button. Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities, you can check the one you just created, you can get the link to share it, you can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms, you can create a challenge with it, or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity.